My name is Robert Hagerford. I'm the Dairy Extension Specialist for New Mexico State University. We're currently out here in Curry County, New Mexico, where we descended upon today to do uh, air quality research as part of the federal initiative funding that we have received uh, for the Southern Great Plains Dairy Consortium. One of the main reasons we're doing this air quality research is when we uh, formed a consortium and sat down with uh, a group of producers trying to identify some of the issues that they needed help with uh, research done, extension work wise. One of the main things that came out of this was environmental issues and of course air quality uh, currently being regulated or at least with the uh, recent passage of the cap and trade bill in uh, Congress. Uh, Air quality is a huge issue and uh, it's being tackled at the national level with the NOM study uh, but very little uh, emphasis in that study is focused on the uh, typical southwestern open lots uh, dairy. And so one of the things we wanted to do was uh, utilize the equipment and the expertise within the consortium, within the universities within the consortium to uh, see if we can find some additional data that really give us the numbers, that give us the sound science behind air quality issues on open lot dairies. Our producers are not afraid to be regulated. They know <clears throat> it's something that is going to happen in terms of air quality, but they uh, definitely would like it to be based on sound science and uh, not on uh, fictions as fiction as it is done elsewhere. Right, my name is Brent Auberman. I'm Associate Professor of Agricultural Engineering with Texas AgriLife Research and Texas AgriLife Extension Service. We're on an open lot dairy in, uh, near Clovis, New Mexico, on the eastern plains of New Mexico. Uh, we're here under the auspices of the Southern Great Plains Dairy Consortium, uh, a group of, of cooperating institutions that include New Mexico State University, uh, Texas AgriLife Research, Texas AgriLife Extension Service, West Texas A&M, uh, United States Department of Agriculture Ag Research Service, or ARS, and uh, several other institutions. We're here looking at air quality and specifically at emissions of uh, air pollutants from uh, an open lot dairy that we think is reasonably characteristic of this region of the country. Uh, this region of the country differs a lot from other dairy intensive regions like California for example. California is a winter rainfall area, we are a summer rainfall area so we expect there to be quite a bit of difference between Texas and California or New Mexico and California just because of the different weather patterns here. Um, we're interested in emissions of particulate matter or dust, ammonia, hydrogen sulfide, methane, and a big class of compounds known as volatile organic compounds, and in particular VOCs as we call them. Uh, quite a number of those are uh, potent odorants, potent sources of odor for uh, downwind neighbors. And so we're interested in how much of these different compounds and, and constituents are being emitted, and uh, what the concentrations are in air, what exposures are likely to be uh, to humans and animals inside and, and downwind of of an open lot dairy like this. So we'd like to know not only how much is being emitted, uh, but how much it would cost to reduce the emissions and what the effectiveness would be once we implement those kinds of measures. Now, those kinds of considerations are important because eventually the government is going to get involved in some way trying to stimulate the adoption of abatement measures for emissions they think are of critical importance. I, if uh, the government decided that it wanted to make some cost share assistance available through the well-known Environmental Quality Incentives Program, or EQIP, uh, administered by NRCS, we'd want to be able to tell USDA what practices are worth cost sharing, what practices are worth uh, providing incentive payments to these producers, and which are not. And then once we decide which ones are worthy, uh, of public investment, then we want to be able to provide some guidance as to how much money would need to be provided to do a good job of each of these management uh, measures. The public really has a, an important stake in the research that we're doing out here because we want to use public funds wisely when we come around to finally using them in a situation like this.